Hello, what it all? This is Luckless Love Locks. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. We're going to try this again, but I'm live on twitch.tv slash Luckless Love Locks this time. I'm going to be playing this off and on. We're going to try the Hungry Rising campaign again, uh, starting in 867 AD. Uh, we were playing as almost almost Arpad. I know I'm going to mispronounce all this stuff. King of the Mogyar Confederation. He's 47. And uh, it says, when the seven Hungarian tribes united to elect a supreme leader, their votes fell on brave Almos. Uh, one day his son Arpad will pick up the mantle. So his, his son is Arpad Arpad? <laughs> uh, but only if the Hungarians can keep their independence. Danger looms on the eastern horizon. Can you defeat the Hungarians and lead them to greatness? This is your chance to retell the adventures of the Arpad Arpad dynasty. These games always seem too intense. Yeah, they're they're a lot. I, I've actually found Crusader Kings 3 to be uh, a little more relaxed than 2. It kind of guides you a lot better. Let's begin. Let's begin. Turkey coma, do it. Do it, Julie. Yeah, we need to get Arpad Arpad out there. Okay, so let's take a look at our situation here. Here's the Magyar Confederation. This is our, uh... This is our... Fuck. Domain is like the stuff that we own. This is our, uh... Realm. Which is like... Consists of our domain plus the stuff that our vassals own. Uh, so we're 47... We're ambitious, gregarious, just, calm. We're a brilliant strategist, military engineer, and an overseer. So we've got really good martial stats, pretty good diplomacy, quite good stewardship. Okay. Um, uh, what's this looking? So if we go to the uh, duchy titles, no. Oh, look at that kingdom. Zaporizhia. Empire titles. Cool. So this is before Hungary really exists. Realms. How you doing, CJ? Um, what else is there to look at right now? So we are the uh, king of the Magyar Confederation. We have a duchy title of the Principality of Yedisan, Chiefdom of Uman. These are the titles that we do have. Chiefdom of Charkasi, Chiefdom of Kherson, and Dnipro. And we have four claims. Where is this? High Chiefdom of Volga, Bulgaria. Oh, that's all this. Chiefdom of Bulgar. Chiefdom of Asali. Chiefdom of Karabolan. Hey, Ipatia, what's up? Thank you so much for the five years. How you doing? Hope you're ready for a nice, relaxed... Crusader Kings 3 stream as I remember how to play this game, which I didn't play a lot of. We're married to the Grand Princess Mutlu of the Mogir. She's 56. And we have... This is our heir. Arpad Almasfi Arpad. <laughs> Fearless Paragon. Ambitious, just, diligent. Also a brilliant stra strategist. Flexible leader and strong. Yeah, I kind of, I really felt like playing this tonight. Okay, this is our realm. Let's look, take a look at our vassals. They seem to like us. We got Ambrus and Vilmos. 34 and 49. This is their opinion of us. Good. Do we only have one kid? That's not, that's not really good. We have 7,545 soldiers. 
2,545 unraised. Create a new men at arms regiment. So this is how we can supplement our levies. And then we can hire additional soldiers, I believe. I don't remember how to do that. I did redo the tutorial just so I could remember how this all works. So our queen is uh, a cis ruler? Oh, this is the, her task. Interesting. So this is our council and this is like what they're assigned to do. So we could have her increase like our stats, I think. Or we could just have a like, um, so it could be politics, chivalry, blah, 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 or just generally help us. Okay. We have Soma. Is our Taltos? <laughs> I don't know, whatever that means. I think this is our like uh, religious leader. Okay. We have Ambrus, who is one of our vassals, is our chancellor. Gabor is our steward. Chieftain Vilmos is our marshal, which is, I think this is our other, one of our other major vassals. And our spy master is Gula. Let me check our, uh, there's house Arpad. How do I check the family tree again? Oh, dynasty tree. Yeah, we only have one kid. That's not really good, because if, like, if our pad dies, we kind of don't really... <laughs> We're in a pretty fucked up situation, because our pad's kids are five, three, and one. <laughs> I wonder if we could have more kids. That would be a smart thing to do. Okay, let's see uh, what we've got. Learn more. We can close that. Available Dynasty Legacy. You have enough for now to unlock a Dynasty Legacy for your Dynasty. Oh. Look at this. Look at this crazy shit. All members of the Arpad Dynasty gain the benefits of these Dynasty Legacies. Acquiring new Dynasty Legacies becomes harder and harder as the cost increases by 500 trees. Renowned each time. Use Dynasty Head can spend Renown to unlock Legacies. We seem to be a war, a war leader. So maybe we pick this. Righteous wars with large armies and skilled champions and commanders. Prowess plus two, night effectiveness plus 15%. Or law, sound administration and just rule in the eyes of vassals and peasants alike. Popular opinion plus five, hunt and feast cost minus 30% gold. Guile. Mastery of underhanded schemes and rule uh, founded on fear. That sounds pretty good, too. Dread gain plus 20%, natural dread plus 15. Blood, careful breeding to produce the most worthy successors. This is like a breeding simulator game to a certain degree. Chance of inheriting good congenital traits plus 30%. Chance of new good congenital traits plus 30%. Ooh, glory. Respect and loyalty with which others want to be associated. Marriage acceptance plus 30. Let's go warfare. So what does prowess do? Character's aptitude in personal combat. More likely to survive and perform well both as knights in battle and in duels. And our knight effectiveness. A ruler's knight effectiveness determines how well their knights fight in battle. Cool. We're house of warriors. What's next? Oh, we don't have a lifestyle. Definitely Marshall. Focus on control of your realm, honorable conduct, and the strategies that will win your wars. We get 40% more ex experience in the lifestyle because of our background. Okay. Strategy focus, authority focus, chivalry focus. And then what's this? <laughs> A 
I think I have to pick one of these. Luck can win a duel, Fool can win a war. Marshall plus three. Marshall plus one, we gain dread. Control. Control measures the grip the government has on the population of a county. It's a crucial, it's, it is crucial especially for collecting taxes from the holdings. When a county changes hands through war, control goes down drastically. There's a good reason to vassalize the current holder instead. Casus Belli. Okay. So this is like for conquering and controlling. Okay. Chivalry focus. Victory comes not through blood or gold, but honor. Prowess again. So prowess instead of martial. This is our particular uh, strength in combat. Attraction. It, battle advantage. Do more damage, the higher the advantage, the more damage soldiers will do. Hmm. I think I might go chivalry focus. Can only be changed every five years. Okay. And then what is this? Oh, we already have this entire tree. No martial perk unlock available. Yeah, we already have entire overseer tree. And we have stalwart leader. Okay, because we're pretty we're pretty old. Uh, current situation. We can declare six wars and we have few champions. We have uh, six of eight. And I th so these are our six, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, no, no. One, two, three, four. We only have four here. Vassal and champion, vassal and champion, heir and champion, and our spy master and champion. So let's uh, let's recruit Imri to our to our court. How much money do we have? Fifty one. All we have to do is pay three gold. And to hold them. Wait, what do I? What if I invite champions? Oh. As the Grand Prince of the Mogir Confederation, I need brave champions to defend the realm and conquer new lands. I will send out a herald to let my subjects know I'm in search of skilled warriors. At least three able-bodied men with 12 or more prowess will arrive as guests at court. Oh, it's going to cost me 150 prestige? But I have 1,900. Said the herald. And I can also declare a bunch of wars. Oh, Imri's now a member of our court. Can I make you a champion? How do I actually make you a champion? It just says allow. I guess I'll just become champion after a little while. Okay, who can I declare war on? Jarl Dial, the stranger of Konagoror. This dude. Okay. Kagan Manasseh II. Holy shit! That's like the... This guy... This guy is like... He's like the emperor. <laughs> I don't think I want to declare war on him. He's like the emperor of Kazaria. Kazaria. Nope. Pass. Maybe. 
I think I think the, if I remember this correctly, eventually what's going to happen is we're going to do like this great migration where we just we take all of our troops and we like move them to another area. Uh, so for now, I don't think we're going to declare war on anyone. What we need to do is maybe build up our lands. And I should probably just start going. Let's start playing. My glory is widely known. <laughs> That's good. Good start. Construct new holding. Okay. How do I how do I build stuff again? Construct new building. That's not my place. This is my place. I can build palisades. War camps. And that's it. I don't have enough money. Forget it. We're being raided. Raiders from High Chieftain and Vadi are in your territory. Raise your armies and defeat them in battle to prevent them from raiding and reducing county control. Oh yeah, we can raid people. 1,596? What the fuck, man? Holy shit. We have a pretty sizable army. I remember now, we need to go around raiding people. We have to be at war, though. Hey, Void. I think we could take them too. <laughs> They're fucking running. By the way, if you guys want to give me some advice on how to play this game, have at it. <laughs> Oh yeah, get a, get the hell out of here. Wait, am I getting raided again? Am I at war with anybody? I don't think so. Eh? How can I see? Face, cultures, houses. I think I would say here if we were at war with someone. Ah, he's running. Yeah, you better run. Known for dedication to your faith. Oh, I can ransom someone. For 10 gold. Cannot afford full ransom of 30. Okay. Or for a favor. I think I need the gold right now. So maybe I should do some, uh, some raiding. Oh, we got a champion. Vazul. He's a dishonorable ravener. Excellent. So one more champion. Why wouldn't I recruit to court? I don't know how to play this other than you need to make your religion make nudity mandatory. <laughs> I'll try. So he is our... He's just a guest. Yeah. Now you're in our court, buddy. 
Okay, I want to start raiding people. So who can I declare war on? It would be fun to raid. This fuck. Jarl Dyer the Stranger of Kunagard. Conquer County, Invade Kingdom, Conquer Duchy, Subjugate. Or do I just send the army over there? I think I have to, I think I have to, um... If I remember correctly, I think I have to bring up... I have to raise them as raiders. Disband our army. God, it's been so long since I... I think I played this like a year ago. We got another champion. A godless lackey. How do, oh, God, my jaw is like clicking. How do I... Uh, how do I get to those the champion tab? I guess they just become champions, right? Maybe I should declare war on this guy. Invade Kingdom. A kingdom is a title ranking below an empire and above a duchy. Conquer. Your level of fame is less than exalted among men. I'm going to save it. <laughs> Before I do this. Uh, before invasion, save to cloud. And let's just see what happens. Let's king let's invade the kingdom of Galicia Volhynia. Oh, it costs two thousand? You seize all titles. That's not what we want to do. Okay. Conquer Duchy. What is subjugate? 750. 375. I can't actually do it, though. Your level of fame is less than illustrious. Oh, I see. We have to be at a certain level of fame. What about this guy? Exalted. Illustrious. And we're just distinguished. So how come, how come they can raid me? And I can't raid them. Oh, cause this, okay. Mogir migration into the kingdom of Pannonia. War started 11 months ago. Oh, I should be attacking these guys. So I'm already at war with them. And we have a war score of 50. Attacking King Boris of Bulgaria. Let me, let me re-raise my armies then. Raise all armies, and then I also want to get some, uh... We got our champions. Okay, good. There's our champions. Awesome. Fruit to court. Let's raise our men-at-arms, too. Raise all men-at-arms.
Okay. So we're going to go into their territory. Wait, did I raise... Oh, there we go. There we go. I should probably get these guys together here. Friendly exchanges. Oh. Oh, our grandson is liking our wife more. Okay, that's always good, right? It's fucking two. <laughs> I should hope so. <laughs> our, our, our grandson's going to plot to kill our, our wife. So I assume that uh, this is going to... Are we going to start attacking this fuck? Yeah, we're sieging. All right. Eighteen days. And the more we siege, the more our uh, war score is going to go up. And if it gets to 100, then we can seize their fucking lands. Hey, Mal. Yeah, I'm feeling good. Uh-oh, is this guy counterattacking? You piece of shit. Oh, he's just raiding. I guess I don't need 7,000 here, do I? It's fine. Because of our raised armies, we're still making money. And now they've left. Although, to be honest, I guess they could send uh, my other, like, group to raid... to raid this town. To siege that town. Um, okay, what can I do with my council, though? Religious relations. Fabricate claim on county. We're collecting taxes of Gabor. We are... Uh, foreign affairs. Prestige is going up. Vilmos is... A resentful fool. Organizing levies, that's good. The trap schemes, all right, we're cool. Hey, sick veins, what's up? You now control Seteta Alba. Four coins from Occupy again. Cool. Being raided. In four months, okay. Let's just keep raiding their territory. So this, did this go up? Or I guess we're sieging, we're not raiding, right? Oh, we should be going for Pannonia. Just chilling, trying to get back into this game that I haven't played for, uh, <laughs> since it came out like a year ago. I guess it's all the same. It doesn't matter which one in particular we're, uh, attacking.
Oh, I got more troops. Wait. Or am I being raided here? Looks like I'm being raided. Now they're gone. Okay. Man, this game's fucking confusing. <laughs> Where's his army? I feel like they're doing, they're just doing nothing. Unlock a new perk for martial lifestyle. Let's do it. Uh, we can do courtship, romance scheme, power plus 30, elope scheme, power plus 30%, romance scheme, success chance plus 30, elope scheme, success chance, or uh, chivalric dominance, knight effectiveness plus 75%. Let's do that. No, this, I don't think this, oh, hold on. I think that is his army. Now he's running. Hold on, did we take this? I think we did. Let's go crush his army. Yeah, I think this is, these are his boys here. Kingdom of Bulgaria. He's sieging me. Oh, he's going to learn a lesson. I'm losing uh, 0.7 prestige per month. I wonder why. Yes, we got a hostage. Count Vlad for 50 bucks. Yes. We got Prince Docks too for 100 gold. That's going to go towards the uh, the war. I think I'm going to split my guys up here. Nice. Give me my money, 230. Or siege, siege one. Okay. Uh, the bulk of my forces will go. Um, shit. I don't want to split them up too much. You know, I'm going to keep campaigning over there. Twenty-seven troops, or do they just always rally to one spot? Oh, there we go. They're splitting up. Never played it myself. Your channel is on recommended, so I thought I'd hop in. Nice. Let me know if you have any questions about the game. I I played a lot of Crusader Kings too, but not this one. Uh, so, oh look, we're at a hundred. We can enforce our demands. Okay. Bug your migration into Kingdom of Pannonia. You seize all titles within King Boris's realm in the Pannonia Basin. All lands outside of this will be abandoned. Migration may only be attempted once per campaign by anyone at all. Hostages taken by all war participants will be released. Pannonia created and renamed to Hungary. Any kingdoms uh, held outside of Hungary are destroyed. Mogiers move into most Avar counties within Hungary. Pechenegs move into all Mogir counties in your realm instead of Hungary. Holy shit, this is complicated. non mogir vassals outside of Hungary become independent. Mogir vassals outside of Hungary are assigned titles from your spare conquered titles within Hungary. Lands ruled by Mogir vassals outside of Hungary are forfeited to local warlords. You gain 150 fame. 
Your allies share 150 based on their contribution, 150 prestige. King Boris of Bulgaria, allies share 150 prestige based on their contribution. Increases his opinion of his allies based on their contribution, spends 150. Okay. Enforce demands! Victory achieved! To the chattering Grand Prince almost, may your years be short and miserable. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. You seize all titles to King Boris's realm in the Pannonian Basin. All lands inside of this will be abandoned. So we just leave our old lands and move into theirs. <laughs> and now we're over here. <laughs> That's so bizarre. It's funny because I never really did this when I when I played this before. I was like staying in my own lands. So what? So now were the grand uh were the 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 grand prince of the prince grand principality of Hungary. Holy shit, and we have uh, 15, we can, we have we have so many extra holdings. You can only, we're only supposed to have six, but we have 15, so we've got to dole those out to other people. Wow. Okay, let's dismiss our army. Since we're not fighting anymore. It says, uh, advice, bishop endorsement. Your bishop is not endorsing you. Open this for a rundown on what this means for you and how you can fix it. Your character's faith makes it so that you have a realm priest on your council. These bishops hold immense power and are more than willing to share it with you. Should you stay on their good side? Bishop provides you with taxes and levies from all temple holdings in your realm. And how much they give you is dependent on their opinion of you. Being disliked means you will not get anything. Bishop may even make life hard for you. They can, for example, force you to divorce your spouse. <laughs> you should do your best to improve their opinion of you using the send gift interaction or starting a sway scheme are two good uh, options to consider. If everything else fails, arranging an unfortunate accident is always an option. Okay. Does that mean that I've taken their counsel? The Soma of Hungary is intimidated by your dreadful reputation. Fearing you, he is less likely to oppose you directly. Uh, well, let's see if we can get him on our side. We'll, we'll do a, a sway scheme. And we'll have you help us with uh, court intrigue. Looks like we have an 82% chance of success to sway Soma to our side. And his opinion of us is going to go up 25. And it's going to take 12 months. 95% chance to progress each month. So let's do that, but I think we can give him some cash too. 37. Seems good. There we go, we got him on our side now. Uh, our Marshal isn't very happy. I think we can give him uh, titles, though. We have to give these away anyways. Full tip modes. Yeah, we're above our domain limit. Currently holding more land in your domain than your character is able to manage by their own. Basically, the there's domain and then there's your... Um, what's the other What's the other word I said at the beginning? Oh, your realm. The realm is all the lands owned by you and your vassals, which are the people underneath you. Your domain is the stuff that you actually own yourself. Uh, as you want to keep valuable titles in your domain, we recommend that you go into the domain tab in your realm view. Cool. Uh, where you can see how much each title is worth to you. Also consider which titles are in your Dejere. Staying over the domain limit for too long should be avoided, as doing so will have consequences. To stay below the limit, you want to grant access excess titles to new vassals. 
You can grant titles to your existing vassals. Often better idea to find someone without land to give it to. Distant dynasty members or courtiers with the content trait make for excellent vassals. Claimants to your titles or ambitious courtiers, less so. Interesting. So let's take a look here uh, before we do this at the duchy titles. Kingdom, duchy, duchy. So we want to get rid of the counties, probably. Just keep the duchies. Uh, one of these, one of these counties we want to keep. So which one is the richest? Faith, culture, houses. I remember there used to be an overlay for like how rich a place was. I don't remember how to get that though. Encyclopedia in-game menu more. Maybe that's not in this game. Political map. Oh, here we go. Counties, terrain, development. I think red's bad. <laughs> but I'm not sure. I think, uh, governments, I guess development is just like how many things are built on it. Okay. 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 So I guess, um, this is where we're housed. So maybe we want to hang on to. The Chiefdom of Hevs of Hives. I don't know how to pronounce this stuff. So can I give this to someone? How does this work? The first one I want to give up is Visegrad. Do you have any lands? Chiefdom of Chiefdom of Hunyad. How do I actually click to go to location? Right click to interact with Chieftain Vilmos. Oh, that's over here. That's in our old lands, though. Let's give him. Um, Let's give him that place, that title. Visegrad. Grant titles. Chiefdom of Visegrad. Gains 40 opinion of you for 50 years. Remains your vassal. Okay. Grand title. This is this is weird. This is, feels bad. It's like giving up my power. Okay, he's on our council though. We want him to be happy. What does this guy have? He, this guy has no. He's our spy master. He's got no lands. He's lowborn. Let's give him some love. He did. He did a good job. Um. Let's give him a chiefdom of Xan. Grad. Oh, 
Uh oh. Protecting against schemes. Watch your step. As ruler, there are many who would scheme to see you dead. Try to make sure that your subjects have a high opinion of you. And most importantly, always keep your spy master loyal. That's why I gave him land. Wait. He left. What the fuck? Why did he leave? <laughs> I think it's because I gave him land. Shit. Okay, let's find a new spot. Actually. If I give this, this guy have any land? What the fuck, man? <laughs> I think I might still be able to appoint him as spy master. Uh, I was trying to reward him and he just left. <laughs> uh, okay. Court. Oh, I don't have a court physician. Let's do that. Let's search for one. That seems like a good thing to have. So these are the people in my court. Let's um, organize them by like how much they like us. How do I do that? I don't see like a way to, to organize them. Can I give my wife land? That'd be cool. Let's give her some land. That's that's a nice thing to do, right? What about my child? Does my child have any titles? Also, we can give our we can give our kid titles. That's that's probably smart. Uh okay. What was the next thing I was gonna give out? Chiefdom of ba Badrog. To our kid. Good. Disabled buildings. Realm will lose land when Vassal dies. Oh. This guy doesn't have an heir? Oh fuck, King Boris of Bulgaria is gonna get that land. Okay, I gotta take that title from him. Just murder? <laughs> this is fucked up. I've got like a bunch of vassals that hate me because I just walked into their land. <laughs> Uh And this guy doesn't doesn't have an heir. Oh, and he's one of our champions. I don't like this one bit. Is this the guy that did I give him this land? I should have thought about that before I I gave up the titles. Who's going to who's going to inherit it? Okay, 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 okay. I gotta think more about this before I make my decisions. Well, what can I do about this situation? How do I take away the title? That's an interesting problem. Okay. We'll worry about that afterwards. We still need to get rid of some of our some of our lands. Uh okay. How 
has a useful duchy claim. Competent diplomat. I'm gonna give her some land. I'm gonna give her... Grant titles. The doctrines of Taltoicism does not allow rulers to grant titles to women. Oh, forget it. I guess I can't do that. My bad. Let's give this guy, uh... Kassand. Kassanad. Wait. We're gonna need to find him a, a, a ch uh, wife, though. Find spouse. Okay. I'll do that in a second. God, there's so much to do. This game is 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 overwhelming. So next one up is Temez. Okay. And then Ke Kev. Gabor. Is this guy going to take off too? Yeah. I think I can get them back into my council though. We'll see. <laughs> Imri. You're getting, uh, Crasso. Taltos. I can't give you titles. It's a theocratic Tal Taltos. Okay. What about this guy? A rad. All right, we have one more to give up. To him. I have no idea how to pronounce this. Sekili fold. So you're getting it. Boom. Okay, we got our, our proper domain size now. Uh, so the next thing we need to do is we have to fill out our council. Steward. Opinion of us. So for a steward, we want green. This guy. Yeah, 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 this guy, this guy, this guy. He's our man. We'll, uh, and we'll also give him some cash. So he likes us more. And then our spy master. Uh, daggers. I guess it's gonna be this guy. That's not very good, though. That's 10. But he likes this fair, uh, decently. Didn't I just appoint him? Now a member of your court. Oh, we got a court physician. Nice. 
Uh, this world is full of dangers, even to a grand prince and his court. As per my request, my servants have inquired after recommendations. Now they have assembled a few options to choose from. 50 bucks to Terezia. Or Othalindis. So Terezia's 19. Uh, 31. Lexus, or has a, what's, what's this called? Opinion of us is tw is 31. Rational Grasper, unmarried, located in Hevs. And part of our culture. So I think we're going to go with Terezia. That's a lot of money, though. But we need to get doctor. I thought I fucking appointed you already. I guess I'm appointing this guy, then. That's weird. Maybe he didn't arrive? Okay. Let's take a look at our situation. Too many held duchies. You hold more than two duchies as a king or emperor, lowering your vassal's opinion of you. Oh. Maybe I should have gotten rid of some of these duchies. Hey, Rusty, what's up? Instead of the counties. No, I'm not giving you a council position. You fucking hate me. You also hate me. And you hate me. I kind of want to plot against these guys to get rid of them. They got, uh, they got too much power. Look at all these claims. They're definitely going to raise up against me. Not good. I can create the Duchy of Bihar. I don't have enough gold, though. And I could take a concubine. Should I take... Should I take a... Uh, should I take the doctor as our concubine? I'm sure that'll work out nicely. Children of this partnership will be born into House Arpad. I don't think it's a bad idea because we only have one child, right? Uh, negotiate an alliance with Count Arpad. I can negotiate an alliance with my son. Okay. That seems like a good idea. <laughs> Change Count Arpad's contract with our son. We've got a hook so we can, uh, we can tax them more. Interesting. I'm good. We don't need to do this right now. Okay. Alliance form with Count Arpad of the of Bodrog. Marvelous news. It's weird because I thought they were our vassal. So I don't understand why I would I would sign a pact with them. All right, what can I declare war on? I think I want um, to take. Oh, I was about to say Bulgaria would be nice, but it's all this too. Um. We can invade, we can, uh, subjugate 750. Is this game based on actual history? Yeah, but it's, um, it's a grand strategy game. It starts off at one point in history and you basically play as like a dynasty. So you play as like a ruler, uh, and then when they die, you play as the, the heir of that ruler and then so on and so forth until there's no more heirs. 
and you just see what happens. So I played, I'm playing as Hungary before they're Hungary. We started out over here and we just migrated over to Hungary. <laughs> it took all the lands. We're at uh, 869 AD. Actually, it's uh, Boxing Day, 26th of December. So we like to fight, so I don't see why I wouldn't want to uh, do some fighting. Just not sure where. Bukovina. Their military strength is inferior to ours. Inferior. Inferior. This seems like a good place to attack. It's right next to our, our main territory, which is Hivas. Ooh. Ooh. Inferior! That looks like a nice spot, too. Mediterranean territory is still a golden zone. Yeah, maybe I should go... Maybe I should go south. Slavonia. I'm just not really sure what invade means. I guess all I can do is conquer. Choose an objective. The county of Volkovar, I guess. It's across the river, though. Let's do it. We're just not stopping. Raise the armies! Create a new, uh, create men at arms regiment. I don't have an option to raise all men at arms. I don't think we need this. So if I can take uh, some of these places, I can give them out as the, uh, I can give the duchies out as titles. 1,808. Oh, yeah, we got this. Why aren't they moving? Guys, they're not moving. Oh, there we go. I guess they weren't, they, I hadn't raised all the armies yet. So what do we have? We've got, oh, it's over. My glory is widely known. <laughs> Age of Empires. It actually, um, the way the map looks, it it's probably more similar to uh, Total War games. But yeah, it, it is a bit like Age of Empires also. But this is more like... Like, look, this is the map. <laughs> this is like grander. Uh, we're over here. We're just like a small part of like Europe and Asia and, and North Africa 
is is where this could take place. So think of like Age of Empires, but like exploded over all of over half the freaking planet. I had paused it by accident. All right, we're sieging. We're already at fifty percent. We this has to be one hundred percent for us to get what we want. What are you doing? So once we siege this, which is going to take twenty days, that should be it. No, you don't. Uh, you get. You get uh, gold from taxes, so it's it's more of like a dynasty simulator. So like, you marry and try to like capture titles and like scheme to kill people so that your kids will inherit all the titles that they can and stuff like that, and manage your politics. Which reminds me, uh, I should probably build up my my realm. If I can. Uh, war camps. Fierce tribal warriors gather in the war camps when the horns horn bellows them to war even in times of peace. They can be found sparring, preparing for the inevit inevitability of conflict. Yes. Okay, so we're building a war camp on our on our territory. Some Sim City qualities to it. Not really, because it's not really a city builder. It's it's a uh, the genre is called grand strategy. So we're still swaying Soma. I <laughs> well, Soma is not swayed. We gain stress. But we'll make another attempt. That's not good. How's this going? 14 days. An unworthy challenge. So there's like these events that happen from time to time too. At first I thought the simple footman a fool for stepping onto the training field. Although Orban seemed no threat at first, it quickly became clear that he would be unable to stop his wild and vicious strikes from hurting me. Disarming him suddenly became a matter of life and death. I tried not to show my relief when his sword finally hit the ground. He fucking challenged us? I could use more people like you. So we had to make choices based on the events. And there's there's uh, results. Consequences. So Orban's going to join our court. You gain 30 opinion of Orban. And he gains 30 opinion of us. This peasant and my soldiers will get a lecture on honor. So we gain 150 prestige and 150 piety. I strike him down where he stands. We can kill him in front of our troops and get 24 dread. And what does dread get us again? It's a measure of how feared we are. Rulers increase dread by performing cruel and heinous acts such as torturing and executing prisoners. Dread makes it viable to play as a tyrant because unruly vassals can become intimidated or terrified, making them too scared to oppose you. Characters dread can range from zero to hundred over time. Their dread will tend towards their natural dread, which is defined by their personality traits. Yeah. How how much he's already at plus eighteen, so it's, he doesn't hate us. I think we should do uh, the lecture on honor. You gained attentive care for five years. This happened despite your spouse's poor martial skill. No, we kind of just started. Um, the way that the uh, Hungary campaign works is we actually started in this, in this area here. Uh, or I guess it was more like up here. And we basically just uh, migrated over to here. <laughs> we, we just like mustered our troops and just attacked Hungary and took their lands. <laughs> that's, that's all that's happened so far. And now I've declared war on another on another place that we had claims to. There we go. We control it now. We're at 77, so we can keep attacking. Get it up to 100.
Hey, nice. We got a new perk. Never back down. Friendly fatal casualties minus 20% advantage plus 5. Let's do it. I would say, I don't know if you ever played Civilization. This game is more like Civilization. But a little bit more about the um, political side of things and and families and scheming and stuff. Wait. Oh, we need to kill this guy. This might do it. We're at 80% now. Um, I don't know which place I need to attack next. Which place I need to siege. Uh oh. 193 casualties to move there. There we go. This should do it. This is like their capital. This guy does not like us. I can't really send him money. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not really... I don't really have a ton of money right now. Maybe I can give him a title. Your steward's good stewardship skill led to this windfall. Oh, we got, just got 75 gold. That's awesome. Wait, where the fuck do you think you're going? I like how the army just runs by us. <laughs> to the benign Grand Prince almost of Hungary, I have been corresponding with your Chancellor, Chieftain Ambrus. And I must say that I have come to see you in a new light. Perhaps you are even someone that I one day would be proud to call my friend. Signed, High Chieftain Mitsislav of Bukovina. Your silver tongue is shining today, Ambrus. Making friends. Converted from Bulgarian to Magyar. Nice. So this guy's counter... Uh, counter attacking. I've only played a board game that's similar to this game. It takes place during a few centuries of Swedish history and you have to invade and make calculated moves in order to take or hold on to certain lands uh, countries. Helps us knowing some history on what actually happened. Never wage war with Russia. They will kick your butt. Yeah. That's true. Oh, there we go. We swayed him. And we got some enemy combatants. So let's... Um... Oh, man. Low control in counties. Let's ransom this fuck. Is this my... That's a neutral enemy. Okay. Let's send that guy a gift now. Can I uh, stop swaying the swaying scheme? How do I stop the scheme? I guess you just, you do, oh, abandoned skiing. Yeah. Let's try to sway this guy now. Our council really doesn't like us, probably because we're holding on to too many titles.
Faction created against you. Here we go. Here we go. The chiefdom of Barkasag has given rise to the peasant rabble targeting you. That's not good. Uh, how do I stop that? But that's me. <laughs> what do you mean? How did I create the faction? <laughs> Camp is so confusing. I guess it's just because it's the peasants. There's like no leader. The peasants are just like, fuck this. No, it's not though. No, this is us. Our son loves us. Look. Oh, minus two. Good God. Unreformed. Ambitious. Offensive war. Shit. This war's gotta end. We're at 95%. Oh, it's protecting against factions. Here we go. You have had a faction form against you, but do not panic like I just did. You still have time to set things right. Vassals and counties join factions when they are dissatisfied with your rule. Counteract this, you can increase their opinion of you or try to become dreaded. To avoid factions, we recommend that you increase your vassal's opinions of you. Pace your conquests. Make sure that any claimants more popular than you suffer unfortunate accidents. Okay, I think the best thing for me to do is just, um, kind of the low p popular opinion tend to join the peasant faction. Unlike other factions, this faction will rise up no matter if they have a chance of winning or not. This is a peasant rebellion. Sometimes you simply have to put the peasants in their place. <laughs> Jesus. This game. Uh, control. Yeah, okay. Let's finish this war off. That should help things. I I'll focus... I'll focus on, um... Keeping everyone happy. How old are we now? Fifty-one. It's already been four years. Oh, you fuck. He raised another army. If I don't peasant uprising, you should be good until the 1700s-ish. There we go. We got it. A hundred. A two-year war in force demands. Uh, we gained 75 fame, 75 um, prestige. And we gained the contested title. To the blathering Grand Prince Almos, may your humors rot in your living body. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. Okay, let's get rid of our army. And we're above our domain limit. So I guess what I want to do is I want to get rid of um, one of these duchy titles. Not Visegrad. It's hard to see those. Probably um, Transylvania.
Everyone fucking hates me, though. <laughs> Lowborn. What about this guy? Uh, trusting, humble, callous, gray eminence. Let's give it to this guy, Kristoff. He's a content villain. He unmarried though. Hmm, that's probably not a good idea. Shit. Should I invite claimants? In order to extend my realm, I must have valid claims on foreign land. Luckily for me, there are many claimants out there who would be willing to become my vassals in return for military support. Luckily to have claimants with relevant claims arriving as guests at court is greatly increased for five years. It costs 750. Let's do it. We'll see who comes. Maybe we can find someone to, to give the land to. What about this guy? 31. He's a vindictive adventurer. Also unmarried. Vengeful, brave, humble, and thrifty clerk. Nope. Craven, deceitful, greedy, <laughs> brilliant. Sh nope. I guess I'm going to give it to this guy. Oh, let's wait. The de jure structure is very important to your vassals. Not being the, the rightful liege could be detrimental to your relations. Open this for rundown on what it means to be a rightful liege. I guess it's because I took um, lands that were in Slavonia. And I sh like I shouldn't actually control that because it's part of the Slavonia duchy. That's probably why they're telling me that. So the way this game works is there's de jure territories, which is like this is this is like a group of territories that come together by law. Um, and there's like multiple levels. There's emp the empire. So one that you guys might be. So, like, Britannia is an empire, and the countries or kingdoms are England, Alba, Wales, and Ireland. So, if you control, like, if you're the king of England, the king of Wales, the king of Ireland, and the king of Alba, you can be the empire of... You can form the uh, empire of Britannia. So, like... For instance, the empire that I'm in is the Byzant Byzantine Empire, it looks like. No, 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 where? where? Hold on a second. Am I in the right spot? Wait, here. Carpathian. <laughs> it's it's kind of complicated. So, like, if I was able to capture uh, the title of King of Wallachia and Moldavia, then I could form... I could become the Emperor of Carpathia. Right now, I'm just the King of, uh, of Hungary. Or the Grand Prince of Hungary. So really, that's what I should be trying to do. I should be trying to get into these two spots. If I want to, uh, gain a higher title. And then, uh, going down lower, if we look at the Kingdom title of Hungary... Um, it's part of the, like, these are the, um, different, like, provinces or duchies that make up that kingdom. Uh, so, like, I should be going for these places also. Like, that was the wrong place to go for. I should have gone for Rab and Visegrad and these places. I'll have to remember that going forward. It's just been a while since I've gotten into this. 
So this is currently what it looks like, but really the, the de jure Hungary is this. Boop. Okay. So I should give I should give that up. <laughs> uh Well, I don't actually control that. I guess I don't actually have that title. Into my domain. Oh, recently acquired holdings cause no penalties yet. That's cool. Let's let this go. Let's see if we can get some, uh, some more claimants. Right now, we're just building up some cash. I should build up my territory even more. We can't construct another building, though, for a bit. Construct a new holding. Construct a new holding. So where's my other shit? Well, I control, like, the chiefdom. Hmm, okay. Man, this is so complicated. <laughs> Counties, right. They're really sure to give you money gold, huh? Kind of nice to see that in a game. Yeah, I, I guess it's all a matter of, um, the scope. A demonstration of leadership. My Chancellor Chieftain Ambrus has been hovering around my council meetings lately. Knowing his interest in matters of leadership, I cannot help but feel that the man is waiting for me to impress him. I could probably engage him in conversation. On the other hand, it might be better for him to, s to simply see him me interacting with my men. Something to be said for at least pretending to know every soldier's face. Uh, yeah, I think we want to do this because we're better at it. Oh, but we can get a, he can, we, if we talk to him, we can increase his opinion of us. I think that's probably smarter. Because people hate us right now. So factions, um, they have 13% military power. Okay, that's good. It's going, their discontent is going up. Can send an ultimatum in 40 months. Two members. So it's just peasants from those places. Okay. Decisions. Uh, I want to check the realm and my vassals. This guy really fucking hates me. Minus 100. Let's give him some cash. I'm never gonna. I'm never going to like sway these guys. Like minus one hundred. These are like these are like the vassals that were around. Um. Before we attacked. I think I need to just get rid of them. Murder. I don't know. Uh, tooltip modes, yeah. We're still waiting for claimants. Increase opinion. 
increase Gavril's opinion of you. Okay. Fine, we'll scheme to see if this guy will like us more. Oh, I have it paused. I didn't mean to do that. I guess we're just kind of sitting around. I don't really have much to do right now. The next steps will be to expand into Hungary, I think. Yeah, to the north, north, uh, west. I shouldn't have done that in retrospect. So at what point do I get new people in my court? Oh, I have a prisoner. Pitar in house arrest. Negotiate release. Oh, he doesn't want to be ransomed. Who's this 10 dread? No, I don't want to lose that dread. I think we're going to need that. Oh yeah, I should make sure my vassals have, uh, have kids. <sighs> make sure that they're married. Okay. Good. 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 Uh, I will inherit their stuff, but I'm going to die before him. So that's probably not very good. Shit. Okay. Same problem. No kids. Fuck. But they're married, so I can't really do anything about it. Oh god. How, how old's this guy? 64?! Uh, look at that name. Tahotum fee of Sigelifjord. Let's get this guy a wife. I'm confused. I wanted to get... Arrange marriage. I guess I can't. <laughs> this guy has... I can't arrange a marriage. All right, whatever. <laughs> so you can do some, at least in, in like Crusader Kings 2, you can do some crazy stuff because you can like, you can like marry to someone that has claims on like a land and then your kids can like get in line in that claim and then you can like murder everyone above them and have your like kids inherit like empires and like kingdoms and stuff like that if you do it right um 
So there's like there's multiple ways for you to get more lands. It's not just through war. You could do it like just through marriage and, and scheming. It's really cool. Like uh, when I played Crusader Kings 2, I started up here and I managed to get Ireland together and then uh, Britannia together. And then I also had lands um, in the Middle East and I was about to become the Holy Roman Empire as well. Okay. Your neighbor, Ban Braslav, is one against Count Zislav. I don't know why that matters to me. All kinds of wild shit can happen. Available perks! Nice! Kingsguard. Number of knights plus four. Sure. Uh, so the one thing that does carry over is Renown. That'll carry over from one heir to the next. So you're kind of, that's like your overall score is like your Renown. Can you use merchants to make some bonds or something? I skilled vassal. You can, um, you can like... You mean like to make people like you more? You can scheme, you can send bribes, you can offer them land. Stuff like that. My vassal count Gabor has proven himself highly capable, especially in academic matters. There are some projects I would like to undertake in the county of Kiev, my liege. With your blessing, of course. We spend 75 uh, prestige. Encourage improvements for five years. What does that mean? Development growth plus 10. Yeah, sure. That's down here. Oh, I see. We're getting people are arriving. Cool. Doesn't like us though. Fifty one. This guy six. Did this guy just arrive? <laughs> Wait, this guy's name is. <laughs> I'm laughing because like I know that I cannot pronounce these correctly at all. It's Patar Terpimirich Terpimirovich. <laughs> These names are great. I just, I'm just so bad at pronouncing them. Okay, I think I'm going to, uh... What's this thing? Wrathful, lazy, ambitious, and a web weaver. I don't know if I want to give that guy lands. And he's Catholic Croatian. Intimidated. They're all fearing me. Let's wait. In the way that merchants can be used and open up to open up borders because everyone needs to trade. Not really. No, you can't use merchants in that way. Oh, nice. It's working. What is the faith in these counties? Okay. It's 
So there's also like religious things to consider. I think I want him to find some secrets. Ooh. Click on a location on the map to assign task. I guess I'd like to find some secrets on the uh, territories that I want to take over. So, Balaton? Where do I have claims, though? Oh, that's not good. Religion always works, especially concerning peasants. Well, it's like if it's like, like, let's say you take over a territory and they're a different religion from you. They're not going to like you. <laughs> that's the kind of way that religion interacts this game. But also, like, if you are Catholic, you have to consider the Pope. Uh, we're not, so we don't need to worry about that. The Great Duelist, my vassal High Chieftain Pavel, has arrived at court with a bandaged arm and fear in his eyes. He tells me that my son and heir, Count Arpid, has been challenging people to duels all over Bihar. Please forgive me, my lord, but this has to stop. Count Arpid turned up at my doorstep and challenged me. I had no choice but to accept. This is not the first time either. I am but the last in a long line of victims. So we can gain opinion with uh, Count Arpad Almosfi. Well, that's our that's a that's our boy. Okay. Or or Paval. We gotta spend money too. Oh, Count Arpad would spend the uh, the prestige. I don't know if he has a different prestige value. And he won't duel anymore. A dangerous pastime. You need an instructor. High Chieftain Pavel loses 20 opinion of you. And we lose 50 gold. But our pad gains in Aspiring Blade Master. What does that mean? I can't keep that open. We get a greater opinion of us. Your father will show you how it's done. <laughs> we can challenge our son? Prowess challenge against Count Arpad. This is the best part about this game is like all this crazy shit that can happen. It's basically this game is like a story generator. We gain 150 prestige. Count Arpad might get wounded. Count Arpad will not duel anymore. That's if we win. 75% chance. Or we could lose. We spend 150. I might get wounded and Count Arpad will keep challenging people to duels. I don't want Count Arpad to get wounded. And I don't want to get wounded. So I don't think I want to select that. But you can, you can like roleplay this, right? Like you could be like, I am the most powerful person in this kingdom. I'm going to show everyone who the strongest is. Count Arp, he doesn't like us. This guy doesn't like us either, but we're not going to bring him back, I don't think. I think I we want to like um encourage our pad. A dangerous pastime, you need an instructor. What's going on here? It's a tough one, though. And yeah, we're making like no money off this territory. Like point one, point one, point one, <laughs> zero point one. 
I think we need to develop this shit. Oh, there's more things to develop. Gathering halls. Ah, okay. I didn't notice that. Nice. Or uh, Prince Gabriel is gaining a higher opinion of us. Okay. Um, fuck. I should have really thought about what I was giving up. <laughs> Neighboring ruler won war. Your neighbor, King Boris, is won against Duke Vladimir. Rasat of Bulgaria in the war against the tyranny of King Boris. Which reminds me, how are these factions doing? My son! Praise Baldacazoni! Terezia has given birth to a perfect little son! Will become my child. And what shall I call you? Oh, Rusty. So this is our, uh, this is the physician who's also our concubine. After an ancestor, a good muggier name. May you grow to be strong and wise, my son. <sighs> so now we actually have, um... That's good, though, because we have a second heir now. In case something happens to our actual son. Uh, and something happens to like their kid, we've got to we've got to. But we're also creating kind of like a, a claimant. Like, let, let me just take a look at our uh, family tree here. Succession. How do I do that again? It's, I remember it being really easy in the other... Oh, here it is. So, like, here... This is us. And this is was, was our only son before. And he's got four sons. Uh, one of the... One of them's 12. And then we've got O Rusty here. Uh, so if something happened to, like, all of them, at least there's another... We have another heir. What's the most common religion around you? Uh, Catholic to our west. Some uh, Slovianskin to our north. We got some Orthodox. Tengri. I don't... Yeah. Christiani? Christiani? Pretty cool though, eh? Look at all these different religions. You get over here, there's um, tons of obscure religions. Ashari. So yeah, Catholic, Slovianskan, and Orthodox, and Tengri, I guess, are the most common ones. And ours is Taltosist? Taltosist? How much longer until I can build on here? 10 months left. Okay. I think I'm going to build up this area. I, I should have reconsidered, like... I shouldn't have taken these territories, because it's far away from my base of power. But whatever. Oh. A faction has enough military power and will send an ultimatum soon. We're going to have a peasant revolt on our hands. I hope my brother or his children don't murder me in my sleep. They probably will. Uh, 
like, because I don't really want to spend money on these places because they're so far. The duelist returns! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Count Arpad has returned from his adventures a stronger man. Well, he has lost a few duels and angered some more of my vassals. He has also had his fair share of victories and gained valuable experience. Now it might be time to appease Count Gabber. Arpad could have been gentler with him. So he's just gone around fighting everybody? <laughs> uh, will you rest now, Arpad? He gained the shape Blade Master. We gained 350 prestige. Gabor got wounded, lost 15 opinion of us. Became Count Arpad's rival. That's funny. Oh, he he got the prestige, I guess, not not us. A raid. What? Oh. Yes, let's raid. Sweet. We're ra raising an army to raid. I don't under really understand how that happens. Sending your armies to raid Sukiva would bring you loot. Okay, we'll try to sway this guy too. Uh, so I think we go here. We're actually doing pretty good money-wise, though. We are done building in... five months. We're 55 now. Death Diplomacy. My Chancellor Chieftain Ambrus has worked hard to convince our neighboring realms and vassals that the peace treaty I entered with Bon Braslav of Slavonia is flawed. Illegitimate and unfair to me. I'm once again free to declare war upon him as I please! Incredible work, Ambrus! <laughs> Way to go! Three months left. We're raiding. Uh, okay. Did I raid? Marshall perk available. Okay. I guess I have to go around this way to get to Peacemaker. So this is like our character. Um, I took Chivalry Focus. Which gives us, uh, personal combat skills, um, attraction and advantage in war. And also we're, uh, we're already an overseer. So we got all of these perks and now we're getting, uh, we're going down this path. I assume I can raid this too. Or am I supposed to just stay there? I'm a little confused. It's very, very complicated. <laughs> it's hard for me to explain everything.
Oh, that's done. Okay, so let's construct something that's going to give us some cash. Markets. A host of small market villages has sprung up around the more well-traveled parts of these lands. Here the tribesmen trade and barter with traveling merchants. Let's construct that. Two years left. So we are building on our lands. I don't know, are we gaining money from the raid? Oh, it cannot be raided again until 8 September. Oh, I see. Can I raid this place? Uh-oh. The county of Crasso has given rise to the Avar Tengri populace targeting you. Oh, shit. Wants independence from their liege. Wants lower uh, county control. How do I, like, um, stop it? <laughs> Maybe if I build some stuff in here, like... Levies, control growth, okay. Maybe I should be building the gathering halls so I can get more control over these areas. Since I fucked up who I was giving lands to. Oh, there we go. To the beguiling Grand Prince Almos, we have been burdened with your oppressive laws far too long. No more! We are done paying you taxes! Once your coffers dry up and your larders are empty, we will wish you had treated us more fairly. Signed, Leader Mutamir of Peasant Revolt. I guess I could grant a tax lien. Every county in the faction, the control level changed by minus 75. Hell no, never! A peasant's lot is to serve their lord! Okay. War declared. To the abhorrent, your wicked deeds have gone unpunished for far too long. That changes today, for I have come to deliver holy retribution upon you. God have mercy on you, for I shall grant you none. Okay, I need to disband these guys, I think. Well, okay, but... Can I just use these guys to fight? Instead of raiding? I'm a little confused how this is going to work. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know. How this works. Neutral army, okay. Where's their army? Oh, here we go. The rebels. I think that I'm... I don't think this army can fight. Like, oh shit. Hustle army. Oh god. Oh, they're raiding me. Those assholes? Can my raiding army fight their raiding army? <laughs> Grand Princess Matula gained the trait Deceitful. Uh-oh. 
Well, I got some prisoners. I captured a fucking two-year-old child! <laughs> oh, no! Ooh, I can get 10 gold for that kid. I think I need to put my spy master back on um Okay, he is on disrupt schemes. I'm a little concerned about Grand Princess Mutlu and what she might do. She doesn't like me very much. She's arrogant, ambitious, deceit and deceitful. <laughs> Treacherous Ravner. Wow. Acts against you and others according to her personality, which is primarily determined by her personality traits. She's calm, arrogant, ambitious, and deceitful. And a desert warrior and skilled tactician! Fuck, our wife's a badass. I don't think we want to mess with her. Wait, where's where are my troops again? Now they're just sitting over here. Oh, okay. They're going that way. Nice. So you got 10 bucks for that kid. <laughs> Where did that other army go? Oh, they're running over here? What does this say? Being raided. Being raided. Where are these fucking peasants? Is it these guys? All right, the fight's about to go down. The desert survivalist is her wife. Yeah, she's a badass. She's look, look at her. She is uh, calm, arrogant, ambitious, deceitful, a skilled tactician, and a desert warrior. And her her uh, personality is treacherous, ravener. Oh, nice. We got 33 gold. Yeah, not someone you want to have as your enemy. Uh oh, I think I might be losing this fight. Oh, no, no. We're winning. We're winning. Easily. I think I... Um do I have to siege my own places? Who am I supposed to fight? I'm going to disband my armies for now. I don't really understand what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, there we go. Is this him? Hasn't revolt. Okay, this is this is him. He's got 280 troops though. Like what what?
They're just like running around outside of my territory. Hey, Leslie, what's up? Oh, there we go. They're finally, like, in here attacking, it looks like. Oh, there's only 280, though. I have four more. I have 5,000 troops. Compassionate Discord. Moved by my tribulations, Count Gabor has offered me his counsel and aid on many occasions, hoping to alleviate the burdens of my duties. However, Gabor's attention have incurred the ire of Chieftain Xaba. Gabor cannot be trusted. Ayo! Thank you for the 47 months! That's five years, I think. <laughs> How are you? Good morning. Gabor cannot be trusted. This is merely a ploy to exploit you, my liege. Okay, he's a powerful vassal. This guy is seen better. Why does he look like his... He looks like his face has been punched in like five times too many times. <laughs> he also look... He kind of looks like a zombie? He's only 37. Interesting. Oh, yes. Uh, it's good. I, I, I've actually, like... I've made it so much further than I did when I was playing this before, even though I've forgotten how to play almost entirely. I will only place my trust in those who deserve it. Count Gabber becomes your friend. You get a weak hook on Count Gabber. Saba, Saba, or Saba, whatever, becomes your rival. You lose 11 stress because you are just. Well, Saba's my buddy, so. He's a count. Oh, okay. This guy has two county titles, so I think I want him on my side. Can the three of us not find common ground? 50% chance uh, both of them gave 50 opinion of us. Or 50 and 15. We increase our diplomacy stat. We gain a bunch of shit. Or we spend 75... Um, I can never remember what this is called. Prestige. Or 60% chance we... Wow. We lose a lot of opinion. I will take heed of your warning, Saba. Then defend your honor of your... Then defend the honor of your grand prince. 0% I successfully goad the two vassals into fighting each other. 100% I just... <laughs> I lose a bunch of shit. Oh... I think can the three of us not find common ground is the best thing to go with. The word, like, yeah. Shit, this is not good though. Hey, I managed to reconcile the two vassals. We increase our diplomacy by one and we uh, increase the opinion of both of them. Damn. Sure. We're starting to we're starting to consolidate our power here. Oh, that's interesting. You just happened to tune in for this really late night uh, stream for the first time. Uh, tomorrow, I'm probably going to be streaming at my normal time. It's either going to be um, first class trouble, which is uh, kind of like Among Us. Or I'm going to continue Deadly Premonition 2. All right, we're fucking these guys up now. Him. 
And the battle's over. <laughs> the peasant uprising has ended. There was 206... 206 of them. Against 5,000. Battles won. Plus 1,050% of max. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're going to imprison this fuck. Okay, good. Locals pacified for 25 years. The cold-hearted Grand Prince almost. May your humors rot. Blah, blah, blah. So be it. We did it. Easy, guys. Oh, that's okay, Rusty. Yeah, the first stream I remember you were watching of mine was um, Outlast 2, I think. AO, wasn't it? But that's one of the ones I remember you in. Uh, a notable guest arrived. Okay. Trained healer. I should probably give away my uh, my land now. This guy's ten. Let's get this guy a spouse. Why not? How about her? King Kinga. How come I how do I just choose her? How do I choose her? For fuck's sakes. Click to view, right click to interact. And then do I do arrange marriage? guy I'm so confused Oh, do I have to click here? If you click on her portrait, it goes to her. You have to click on the writing. Oh, no, 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 Rusty. No, you have to click. That was just for the stream earlier. I was streaming um, against the storm to let let people know that uh, that's where you could get it because they gave me a key. Yeah, let's get let's get this guy hooked up. Why not? That was him, right? This guy too. Y'all need companionship. Um. How about Mar Margit? Yeah. Uh, humble, maybe? I don't remember. I kind of... Uh, the humble bundle thing... I don't know. I don't really like where they're... Where they've been going, but... Yeah, I'm still a partner with them. You got it! Uh, okay. Oh, this guy! Would make a good vassal! Perfect. Grant title. 
Chiefdom of Vukovar. Cool. You're not married. He's an honorable villain. <laughs> what the? Arrange marriage. He'll find. He'll. He's his own man. He'll find someone. Great choice. To the implacable Almos, I gladly accept your marriage proposal. I will graciously take the hand of your courtier Soma in holy matrimony. May Boldo Gazzoni bless her union. Who is that? I'm sorry I'm laughing. I just, I know I don't know how to pronounce these names. <laughs> I guess that's, that's like the god of that religion. Taltosist? Ransom. To the charming Grand Prince Almost Hungary, uh, dear to me, would you like him to go in return for this offer? Yes. We're doing pretty well here. Oh, for sure. Like, it's these, these, these are pretty crazy names. For me, anyways. Let's keep building these up. Um, with gathering halls. So we can increase our control. Yeah, that's that's good. To the charming Almos, okay, another that other guy's getting married too. How's your favorite baby second son doing, by the way? You wanna you wanna see Oresti? Is that what you're asking? Or uh three years old. You're a covetous gambler. Um you're bossy. Which means, actually, that's good. Plus one marshal, plus one stewardship. You're the child of a concubine, so minus one diplomacy. How are your stats looking? You're three marshal, three stewardship. And five prowess. Quite the fighter! Just to give you some ideas here, uh, let's take a look at some of our other vassals. See what their prowess is. Seven, you're almost as fucking, you're almost as good in battle at like three years old as you are this guy. This guy's got zero. You could kick Chieftain Saba's ass in a fight. <laughs> Maybe I'll set that up. Oh, nice. We we uh, constructed the trading outpost. In heaves. We're making mad cash from there. What could I build next? Uh, I need more money. Okay, next next on the agenda, um we're gonna be moving to the west. Promising prospects. Marriage acceptance for yourself plus 50. Close family plus 25. Extended family plus 25. Seems good. Okay. People are loving me. So if we want to, if we want to unite the de jure, de jure, I always thought it was pronounced de jure, but it's like de jure. Uh, Kingdom of Hungary. Then we need to take Balaton. Bulgaria Ungvar. But Bulgaria is all this shit too, so. 
That would be quite a fight. I think we go for Balaton next. Uh oh. Oh no! Our wife passed away. As you drew your last wife, as you drew your last breath, relief washed over me. Perhaps I should be ashamed, but in truth, there was no love lost between us. Finally, I am free to start my life anew. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> We're actually so happy about it. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, she was awesome too. Okay, almost. Not, not one day too soon. We lose 17 stress. Okay, we gotta find ourselves uh, a new, a new spouse. Um, <laughs> this could actually be really big. We could, could, we could have our son inheriting some pretty sweet lands if we set this up correctly. This is a, this is actually a major decision. Um, but it would be their children, not our, f well, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work. Relevance. Alliance power, prestige gain. Oh, it's looking like Lemmicky. Finish. Potential alliance. With the high chieftain, chieftain of Finland. Interesting. There's also a potential alliance with the chiefdom of Tarnow. Oh, that's way up here. Finland's fucking small. Yeah, right click. No, right click is interact. Left click is location or something. I don't know. Uh, relevance, alliance, power. There's Novo, no, Novgorod. She's nine though. Might be a little, that might be a little young. Prestige gain. It's going to be Lebeki, I think. Rank. Opinion of you. Okay, she's uh, compassionate. It is historic. Yeah, it ain't really there's no too young. Well, the, here's the thing. I'm 58. So we got, we don't have a lot of years, good years left in us at this time, day and age. So we probably want to have some kids because that's what you do. Uh, we probably don't want to be waiting around for a few years, you know? So 17 is probably good. <laughs> yeah, this is the game, okay? I'm not saying... I agree with this. I'm just saying this is the way the game works. Cynical. And arrogant. Mm. What about Euphemia? Generous? Content? Trusting? Now this seems better. Potential alliance. Shit. Back.
Also, they're closer. What's this? County of Georgia. Yeah, that's really close. That's really close. I think we're going to go with Euphemia. Oh no, I lose 100? No, 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 no. I think we're going to go with Lem... Lem... <laughs> Lemicky. I get 200 prestige. Let's do it. Alliance form with High Chieftain Ihala II of Finland. To the benign grand, benign grand prince, almost of Hungary, I gladly accept your marriage proposal. You'll be joined with my daughter Lemiki in holy matrimony. May Uko grant you long life and many children. Excellent. She's got a sweet outfit too now. Big dinner, a bit too much to drink, and I'm sleepy now. I think I'm going to wrap it up soon. It's a pretty good start. Two and a half hours. This is a game that I'm going to come back to occasionally when I feel like it. Uh, so we moved into Hungary from our place up here. We uh, conquered this place. We stopped a peasant revolt. We made our son a like kick ass. Look at the martial stats on him. He's like super powerful in battle. Look at this. Ambitious, just, diligent, brilliant strategist, flexible leader, strong, aspiring blade master. So when he inherits... When he inher when he goes into power, he's going to be fucking strong. Not quite as strong as our previous leader. Actually, better uh, martially. Better uh, dip diplomat, too. And really good at learning. At just overall better leader, I think. I'm just a little concerned because we're going to. Uh... Oh, we're not going to lose. We're not going to lose control anymore. It said before that we were going to lose control of one of our places, but we're good. Oh, I didn't mean to get rid of that. So, and we're in a pretty stable place. So, I kind of want to wait till our first leader dies, though. But I think the plan is going to be uh, next time to try to get into Balaton. Or maybe I should go for Bulgaria. Prince Gavril's claims. So we can we can like support Prince Gavril and make him the the Bulgarian king. In order to invade the kingdom, we need to be exalted among men. Their military strength is inferior to ours. Oh, I can't. I don't have enough. But I don't know why I would want to do that. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, Moldavia. Subjugate. Ooh. I could subjugate that fuck. That seems like a good idea.
Oh, there we go. Balaton. Subjugate him. This is what we'd want to do. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's do it right now. Let's do it live. Um... We're going to take Balaton. Subjugate him. One last fight. Raise the armies! For today we go to war for the glory of Hungary. Actually, fuck it. I'm just gonna raid. He can he can run around with his fucking armies, and I'll just uh... we will siege. Yeah, you run away. I think this is the final campaign of Grand Prince Almos Ugiakfi. Almos. I mean siege, not raid. Well, so, uh, like I saw that I was going to take some. Um, what's what's the term? Uh, I was going to lose some of my men if I went after that army, and he's not coming after me. So I'll just I'll just I'll just siege all of his towns. You can call your ally High Chieftain Ihala the the second. Calling other rulers into your wars means it's more likely you win, but be aware that you must spend prestige for each ally. Nah, we're good. We're good, we're good. Eighteen days. Who's this? Uh oh. Here he comes. Wait, is this my enemy? I can't tell. Yes. If it's a fight he wants, it's a fight he'll get to war. Oh, you run. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I don't need Finland right now. Run, you fool! Run! No, I'm gonna siege this place. It's closer. He has to cross this bridge to get to me. Probably. Although, he might cross this bridge also. Yeah, well, let's go back to where we were. We're already at 50%. Oh, we cap- Look! Our forces captured Chieftain Dalibor of Osterholm and two others after winning the Battle of Pest. Oh, that's Budapest! Oh, this is Budapest here, I think, right? Isn't it like across, isn't it like two cities that are like across the river from each other? Cool. Um, let's get some money. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, give me the zero. We'll accept zero. <laughs> okay. Well, let's try. Yes. Yes. Another good, uh, another good reason to fight. Um, you want me to zoom out? Where, where? Like it says, this is Pesh, so. Is this around where Budapest is? Now, this isn't really like modern day Hungary. This is Hungary in 800 AD. <laughs> so I don't know if that helps. Yes, yes. Going to war is like a great way to make money. Oh, 
she's pregnant. She gave the. <laughs> I love this game. Grand Princess Lemmicky gained trait pregnant. <laughs> Pregnant. Prowess minus two. Mercy for the mercenaries! The bustling of an inn. A fine cider. A calm evening after a long day of training. My tankard is knocked out of my hand my, by a mercenary reeling from below. And all hope of relaxation drains away into the floor along with my cider. Please, my lord, the innkeeper begs. Salomon's thugs have been drinking me dry without paying for days. And their fighting is scaring the staff and guests. Hey, Dylan Sons. <laughs> yeah. Gained a trait. That's not a trait I really want to ever gain. I will pay for your drinks if you leave at once. You gain generosity to mercenaries. You gain 50 martial lifestyle experience. Soldiers, throw them out. 25 stress. Expunged bandits for 10 years. They're too drunk to be a real threat. This will be over quickly. Huh. This is pretty good. So we gain 25 stress, but we get 100, 100 martial lifestyle. We're respected by mercenaries and we expunge the bandits for 10 years. I like it. It's fine. We're getting old. We can, we're probably going to die stress soon. I mean, we're going to die soon. This is a matter of stress, I guess, right? Uh oh, a faction targeting you is, has disbanded. Damn right, it disbanded. Ha! We it looks like we fixed our issue. Why can't I click on this? Whatever. Okay, let's build uh, here too. Oh, I, I guess I have to wait. Oh, I don't have enough um, prestige. Holy shit. Oh, right, because I, I spent prestige on war. Right, 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 right. Oh, I got an empty council position. Did one of, did our steward? Oh, our Saba died. He gave the trait death. <laughs> High Chieftain Pavel, that's pretty good. 17. So it's, it keeps saying like there, some people expect yeah. This guy wants a seat on the council. Should I give it to him? Or should I give it to someone that, that actually likes me? I think I should give it to someone that actually likes me. That seems smarter. The only thing is he's like really a really good fighter too. Maybe I should give it to this guy. I was just killing. I was just kidding about the the death trait. Maybe this will turn him though. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a risk. Yeah, now he's at minus twenty eight. Um, I'm going to send him a gift too. Oh, I already gifted him. Let's, let's sway him also. Okay. 
Basically, what swaying does is we're more likely to, uh... You can make him like us more. If you want to go to Britannia in the end, making an alliance with Finland at the moment is a good thing. Germany had a lot of power in the in the year you're playing at the moment. Reach Scandinavia, eventually it'll be a Viking or a 911, and with them you can kind of butcher Britannia. Nice. That sounds like fun. I need a new champion. I already did this. Can't afford this. I guess I'll bring in this guy in seven. This is a pretty shitty champion. All right. Fourteen days. Now control. Okay, sixty-one percent. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, I paused it. I was like, why is this battle taking so long? Oh no, we could stay there. Da -da -da. Wait, is my territory under siege? No. Oh, this fuck. You know what? I'm going to send one of my armies that way. Because how big is his army? Not that big. My daughter prays bold Gazani Lebeki has given birth to a perfect little daughter. Who... Who will you become, my child, and what shall I call you? Uh... Leslie? May you grow to be strong and wise, my daughter. Look at how little she is! <laughs> She's so much shorter than Baba! There we go. Leslie. Uh oh. Neutral army, okay. You know what? Oh, they look, they're fucking running. All right. We'll just siege three different towns. Ooh, Sway getting personal. In our recent communication, my steward High Chieftain Pavel expressed a want to focus on his ambitions and interests more. I could make sure that our coming letters contain more on a topic close to this to his heart. Oh, cool. So there's events related to schemes that you do. Because I was trying to sway him to like us more. I think he likes to focus on diplomatic matters. I'll subtly include this topic in coming letters. <laughs> hey, Amprops! Thank you so much for the raid! Uh, am I supposed to, like, know what he likes? Shy, craven, generous... Hey, Su... Suarkal? Or Suvarkal? Welcome! Holy warrior scarred. The ruling of a realm 
surely interests him. He surely enjoys subterfuge and intrigue. He likes stewardship and intrigue. But that's like ruling is is stewardship, I think, right? Let's try. Neighboring ruler lost war. King Russ. In his response, my steward, High Chieftain Pavel, encouraged my slight dip into more personal topics. What a treat that he also is interested in stewardship. Sweet. Nice, 10 opinion. <laughs> Am raid? Amprop raid. Cool. I like it. <laughs> Teresia gained the trade pregnant again. <laughs> Just keeps happening. Quite fertile. Okay, so we took this on to the next one. Uh, oh, you've been play You've been uh, watching someone play CK3. Started watching someone play it yesterday. Actually, for a chance, I get to raid me. Nice. Uh, I've been watching um, my friend Not a Giant. One of his favorite streamers is Italics. E T A L Y X, and he's been playing Hearts of Iron. And uh, I was like, I want to get back into grand strategy. And I had actually started to play as Hungry like a year ago when this game came out. And I only played for a few hours, and it, just, it was just overwhelming. And uh, so I, I stopped, and today, after watching Hearts of Iron 4, I was like, I want to get back into this. Could be a lot of fun. Calls you amp. Others call me props. Um, I'll go with props. Because I'm different from Miro. And it sounds like you're saying others call me props, so that's what, that's what most people call you. Props to you, Amp. Nice, another Marshall perk. We're almost to Gallant. Spouse opinion plus 50. Skills from Spouse Counselor tasks. This is working out great. I have a feeling after this war, though, our, our boy is done. High Chieftain Swade! Prisoner taken in siege! I am my own person and I'm Miro, actually. Yes! Ten bucks for the two-year-old! <laughs> You'd think they'd be willing to pay more for their child. Okay, siege one. Can I go to, to where that is? Oh, that was from before, I think. Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. The uh, dotted, the dotted lines, I think it means that my territory isn't is infringing on his territory because I've taken kind of taken see these straight lines it means that like I've taken control of these provinces because I've sieged his towns so I think it means that my territory is like I'm starting to take over his territory I believe but I'm not 100% sure 18 days, 20 days, 20 days, okay. Not sure if it's better to do a bunch of different sieges or one at a time. I don't, I don't know, Rusty, to be honest. Is this guy trying to go around me? Surety of supply. No matter how formidable my soldiers are, if they run out of provisions while on campaign, they will serve me no better than trained squirrels. 
To this end, I should come up with a plan for ensuring my soldiers always have the supplies they need in the field. Arrange a network of merchants to help me. 74% chance we gain well provisioned for five years. 100 martial lifestyle experience. 25% chance we gain armies lacking provisions for five years. Stockpile supplies in my stronghold. We got a fair amount of money. That might not be a bad idea. Or we might, or we gain stress and forage. Let's let's spend the money. This might be our last our last war. So I think this guy's trying to go around me. Okay, we took control of this. We're at eighty five percent now. Let's uh, let's do this, and then we'll move this army to fight this guy. Military presence, nice. Oh, he's coming! Get him! Yes! Yes, we got another prisoner too! Two prisoners! Close that. Nice. Wait, where's the other one? Take concubine! I'm gonna take our, the prisoner as, as my concubine? Nah. My daughter, praise Bolta Gazzoni. Terezia has given birth to a perfect little daughter. Who will become my child and what shall I call you? Uh, in, in honor of Props's raid, this will, this one will be props. <laughs> she's just yeah, she's going crazy. She's got all kind of all kinds of fresh statuses. Allied combatant slain. Soma was slain. Oh no. We got some prisoners to ransom. I had, did you guys, did you see that guy? He had an eye patch. Okay, we won the war. Um, Enforce demands. He's going to become our vassal. He spends 350. We gain 350 fame. Allies share 350. Okay. Oh, I see. There's prestige and then there's fame. Oh, cool. So by fighting, we kind of trade prestige for fame. To my liege, peace be with you. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. So be it. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Victory. Wait, Taltos Camilla of Hungary, your Taltos. I thought I married Kinga off to someone else. Let's take another concubine. The dotted lines represent the enemy's territory at the county level. The dashed red lines are what Luckless is threatening, while the red outline is the whole of the state, which is a part of the bigger kingdom. Or something like that. <laughs> no, 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 he stopped dueling. He stopped dueling. We can disband our armies. 
Holy shit, guys. That was crazy. New Tal- Oh, the Taltos is the- Hold on a second. I could have taken our religious leader as our- as my concubine? I should have done that. That's fucking weird. <laughs> I could have taken our realm priest as our concubine. What a game. You still can't give this guy a gift, eh? Uh, it's not giving me the option. I already have two. Oh, I can make it. I can't have another concubine. Okay. It's so my doctor. Uh, my doctor. And and the our religious leader is my concubine. Crazy. All oh, right, Soma died. What a game, guys. Okay. So, if we look at um, what we've done so far. This is Hungary that we own. So, I still need... I still need Ungvar and part of Great Moravia, it looks like. So, can I just... Is Ungvar a place I can just fight? Like I just did? I think Kainga was the wife of one of my vassals, but I think he died. Right? I, that's what I said when I saw her. I was like, isn't that the wife of one of my vassals? I think it was the guy that died in the fight. So like... <laughs> after the war... I immediately married his widow. Who, who's... who's Marriage we arranged, and then I also married the the head priest of our religion. Or sorry, not married, but concubine. I don't know what the term is. Okay. Um. Oh, there's Ungvar there. Subjugate. You have already waged a subjugation war in your lifetime. Oh, we can only do it once. Okay. The duchy, though. I don't have enough uh, prestige. Yeah, I don't. I think that's going to be the final war of of our of Grand Prince Almos. He almost did it. This is like a Martin book with shit ton of family lines you have to keep track of. Oh, yeah, I mean... Okay, just to give you a sense, like... This is my family tree, right? Alright, every single ruler in this game has um, a family tree. So let's go to my my ally. We're... we're uh, where the fuck is... Finland, here. This is my ally, right? So I can go to his family tree. He has his own fucking dynasty tree. Alright? So the, like, two of his, um... His, his, his father and his grandfather already passed. And then you can imagine, like, all of these people are gonna have families and kids and so on and so forth. And there's this many territories so all of these provinces have their own house like have their own dynasties this game is like it's insane that's why it's called a grand strategy game 
Uh, let's look at um, this one. This is probably going to be. Look at this. This is one fucking dynasty. And we're just in 800 AD. So like. This game goes on. <laughs> it goes on through like all the Middle Ages. So it's just going to keep growing and growing and growing and growing. And look, look, boom. This is, this is just like one part. I could click plus on all these people and you could see how they're all related. Yeah, like the uh, even so, yeah, let me go to someone in my court. Um. So this is someone, this is a lowborn person, Ukshi. Uh, wait. They don't really have, they don't really have a dynasty though, right? So we can't see. But someone like this guy who's, um, I'll go to my vassal. This, uh, this is the guy that we just vassalized, I think. He has his own dynasty. Yeah, we have our own court. Everyone who has, like, a title has a court. Yeah, it's only when someone has a title, I think, a tree is generated. So that's, that's, uh, Crusader Kings. And so, like, let me give you an, let me, like, if we look at, um, Bulgaria, which eventually we're going to want to... We're gonna want. We're gonna want to mess with Great Moldovia. This is the king of Great uh, Moravia. Sorry. Um. So he he is um. He's only nine years old. All right. And his heir is this dude. <laughs> is because king the king died. Uh, and his his heirs weren't old enough. So, like, if I kill, if I can kill these two, the next person in line is probably, like, this guy, maybe. But if I could, like, get my daughter, if I can get, like, someone to, like, marry, even this guy, like, King Velimir, if I can get, like, if I have enough power and I can get, like, my daughter to marry him... And then I have, like, I can make it a, ma uh, like, inheritance along, like, the lines of the, uh, the female side. Then I can, like, their kid can, like, inherit the titles. And then, like, you can murder people. To, like, you can, uh, you can exploit these family trees in order to, like, marry into a family have an heir that will inherit the titles and then you just murder all the people above him and then you just once you take over as that person you could just you just get the kingdom or whatever that's just kind of cool about this game um you can like do it by conquest or by you know by scheming and stuff that's what i was when i played crusader kings 2 that's what i did for a few of them i was like I was like one or two murders away from B I was already the the emperor of Britannia and I was like one or two murders away from my my the son of that person inheriting they would inherit the empire of Britannia and also inherit the Holy Roman Empire. It was just like that's just like how the game works. <laughs> um like, okay, so one thing, like, the way that this game is different from other games is you can't just go around attacking people for no reason, though. Like, if I want to attack Italy, I can't just do it. You actually have to have a reason to do it. A casus belli. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. So you have to, like, have someone in your court that has a claim to the land. So kind of how, like, I can wage war against, uh this guy because Prince Gavril has a claim and he's in my court. He's he's a vassal of mine so I can like fight on his behalf in order for him to take over. 
or you can uh, get like you can marry someone that gives you claims to a place in order for you to to fight. Or another thing you can do is you can manufacture claims. So like um, you can send your there you go. You can send your religious leader fa to fabricate claims on a county. So basically, you like kind of like make up. You're like, oh no, my I uh, went back like. A thousand years ago, my great 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 grandmother married, blah blah blah, and so I have a claim for this place, and then you can you can fight, but that can that can take time. So it's like, it's not like a lot of other games where you just march in and start fighting. You actually have a re have to have a reason to fight, like a legal reason. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up here. Thank you all uh, for watching on YouTube. I'm gonna upload this, I think, later on, and we'll come back to it. Uh, I feel like it. That's pretty good. Pretty good start, though. And I love you all.